My name is Richard. In this video, I'll talk about heart rate variability. To help you understand HRV a little bit better, let me briefly review EKG. This is a typical EKG of a human heart. P wave here is for the depolarization of, or you can say contraction of the atria, these two chambers up here. QLS complex, this is for the depolarization of the ventricles or contraction of the ventricle, these two big chambers down here. Let me point out that the left ventricle is thicker and stronger because it pumps the oxygenated blood to the aorta, the main artery. From there, the oxygenated rich blood is distributed to other parts of the body. The right ventricle pumps deoxygenated or oxygen-poor blood to pulmonary artery and to the lungs. Therefore, the left ventricle works hard than the right ventricle. When these two chambers contract, a very powerful electrical signal is generated, which is the this QLS complex. T wave here is for the repolarization or relaxation of the ventricle. They are getting ready to receive the blood again for the next contraction. Sometimes there is a U wave here which shows at the tail end of the, uh, the repolarization of the ventricle. Heart rate variability by definition is the variation in the time interval between heartbeats or rhythmic accelerations and deceleration of the heart rate. When the ventricles, the low chambers of the heart, contract, the power of contraction generates the QLS complex of the EKG. If you look at the time interval between each heartbeat, you can see that they are not the same. Sometimes it's 817 milliseconds, sometimes it's 778 milliseconds, and so on. Millisecond is one one thousandth of a second. So HRV is the variation in this time interval between each heartbeat, and because of this variation, the time differences, it creates a rhythmic acceleration and deceleration of the heartbeats. There is a way of calculating this HRV, mean variance, the standard deviation here, but I am not going to go in there in this brief introduction of HRV. If you viewed one of my HRV breathing exercise videos, you would have noticed that breathing at rest generates a well-synchronized heart rate variability with the respiration. When we inhale gently, slowly, and deeply, the heart rate accelerates. And when we exhale, the heart rate decelerates. This acceleration and deceleration of the heartbeat in response to controlled breathing creates a heart rate variability cycle. By breathing this way, one can modulate you can modulate your own heart rate. Inhaling speeds up and exhaling slows down. Inhaling speeds up and exhaling slows down heartbeats. Now, what is the value of HRV? Cardiologists knew that human heart rate varies all along, but they didn't, they didn't think its significance until the late 20th century. Here are some recent studies on HRV. As you can see from the years they have been published, these are all relatively new, and evidence began to emerge that Decreased HRV has a significant medical and mental health issues implications. Increased HRV, on the other hand, helps improve not only these many different medical conditions, but also psychological symptoms of depression, panic attacks, PTSD, and even performance anxiety. To increase HRV, you need to practice HRV breathing. However, practicing HRV breathing without the help of a professional may not produce the desired result. Also, there are many HRV. HRV breathing, HRV training applications available on the market these days. Do some homework and find the right program for your need. The video for this channel are educational purposes only. They may not be substituted for qualified professional help. Thank you.